In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a mandala using my Zentan Galart Mandala Creator. All you do is select your ellipse tool from the toolbar here by clicking on it, then simply hold down the shift key and click and drag. Holding down the shift key, make sure your ellipse remains in proportion. Then simply select a brush from the brushes tab here by clicking on it. And as you can see, one of the mandala pattern brushes has been applied to it. I think I'd like the leaves to be a little bit larger than that. So I'm going to change the stroke width. And as you'll see, the leaves get bigger. I think about 1.5 is probably how I'd like it. I'm now going to add a second brush stroke on top of this one. And so to do that, I'm going to go to Edit, Copy, and then edit place in front and that ensures that your new circle goes in front of the old one and because it's identical to the old one it doesn't look any different but now I will apply another brush to it and you will see a change. I prefer not to see the inner parts of these leaves so I'm going to recolor the fill from this circular shape here so that it's white so it blanks it out and to do that I'm going to go to the color tab here and select the fill and simply click on the white bit there and as you can see the leaves are gone. I'm now going to add a third brush stroke to the mandala and again I'm going to go to edit and copy and that's copying this shape here and edit paste in front and I'm going to get rid of the white fill on that new shape so it's transparent again and then I'm going to apply a new brush here and as you can see, that's way too big. We don't want that there. So what we'll do is we'll first of all, shrink down the stroke width a little bit so that it's one point instead of 1.5. And then we're going to shrink the circle itself. And to do that, I'm gonna to go to the object menu and transform and scale. And at the moment we're at 100%. So we're gonna see what 90 looks like. I'm gonna click the preview box there. And it's almost right, but I'd like to see a little bit more of this brush. So we'll try going down a little bit more. That looks about right to me. And it's worth noting at this stage that if you check the scale strokes and effects box, it will scale the brush as well. So as you can see, that went to 84%. In this example, we don't want to do that, but it's just a very useful thing to be able to do. So then we're going to click OK. And as you can see, it's starting to look like a proper mandala now. Now it's just a case of repeating those steps, simply copying your circles, placing them on top, shrinking them down, changing the brush stroke to a different one. And there you have it, a finished mandala made in just a couple of minutes. Now it's worth noting that with Illustrator brushes, they remain live. So if you select one of them, you can then swap in another brush by clicking on it, like so, which makes it dead easy to change your mind about what you're doing partway through. If you have any questions, please leave a comment or send me an email. Thanks for watching.